They don't want no problem But they got one Cause one day you'll come back, 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 back Cause one day you'll come back I know It's a The Bible is the only true book in the world. All these other Bibles and everything like that is wickedness. We out here to say, come back to this Bible. Read that for me, bro. Bring it out. John chapter 8, verse 32. Come on, bring it out. And ye shall know the truth. The Bible says you're going to know the truth. Read. And the truth shall make you free. According to the Bible, the truth shall make you free. The truth, the truth is you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and you Native Americans are the people of God. The God of this Bible is only for one nation of people, and that's the Israelites. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and you Native Americans are the people of God. God don't love everybody. God has a chosen people. Give me Isaiah 44 and 1. God has a chosen people. What you heard from your slave master for hundreds of years is, is a lie. Right. The right. Most High has a chosen people, and you are his chosen people. That's you so-called right. blacks. That's why you went into slavery. You went into slavery because you don't keep your God's laws. That's right. The God of this Bible is your God. Watch this. Read. Isaiah chapter 44. Verse 1, Come on. Bring it out. get down here, uh -huh. O Jacob, Come my on. servant, uh -huh. in Israel, whom I have chosen. That's and who right. is he chosen? In Israel, whom I have chosen. The God of this Bible chose Israel. Right. Israel is a nation of people. Give me Isaiah 42, 22. You went into slavery because you're breaking God's laws. It's time to repent and come back to this Bible. Right. Yo, right. These churches not telling y'all the truth. These churches just telling you you're supposed to love your neighbor. You're supposed to love, love, you're supposed to love. But according to the Bible, you need to keep these laws. Read. Bring it out. Bring it 42, verse 22. Come on. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. This is a people. You are a people who has been robbed and spoiled. You've been destroyed by your enemies according to this Bible. Read. They are all of them snared. Uh -huh. In the hole, you are a trap. You are uh, you for a trap. These other nations, they they pray off of you. They pray off of you. They keep locking you up in the prison system right. because they need to get that money. Right. Read. And they are hid in prison house. They are what? They are hid in prison house. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You want to go to the jailhouse? Who you see in the jail? Who you see in the jail? You so-called blacks. Read. They are for a prey. They are for what? They are for a prey. You are for a prey. You are for a prey. These other nations pray after you. The so-called white man, he's getting rich by locking y'all up. That's right. That's right. And are not delivered uh -huh. for a spoil and none says restore. Ain't nobody going to restore you. The only way you're going to get restored is from Christ to come and you keeping his laws. That's right. Christ going to come back for the people that's keeping his laws. You so-called blacks Hispanic, the nation of Israel. That's, that's right. what Christ is coming back for. He's not coming back for all other nations. Yeah. What you heard in your churches have been a lie. It's time to repent and come back to this Bible. Read on. Who among you will give ear to who, this? Who going to give ear to this? Who going to give ear to what we bringing out here today in West Memphis? Read on. Who will hearken in here for the time to come? Who gonna hearken to us? Are y'all gonna keep driving by? You gonna listen to this Bible? Yeah. Read. Yeah. Who gave Jacob for a spoil? Who gave you so-called black for a spoil? Who did it? Why did y'all go in slavery? Who did it? Who did it? Read. In Israel to the robbers. Who gave you to the robbers?
robbers. The so-called white man came over here and robbed, robbed the so-called Native Americans, took their land. Who did it? it Y'all need to be asking who did it. Read. Bring it out. Did not the Lord? Did not who? Did not the Lord? The Most High God let that happen to you because That's you right. broke His laws. That's right. Come, over come on over here, bro. You got any questions? Y'all come over here. We out here for our people. Give me Ezekiel three and four. The Bible commands us to come out here to our people. The Bible commands us to come over here to our people and bring them this truth. Y'all got any questions, sister, over there? Come on over here. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna tell you what we out here to teach. Listen what the, listen what God told His prophet to do. Read Ezekiel chapter three, verse four. Come on. And he said unto me, Son of man, come on. go get thee unto the houses of Israel. Go get thee to who? Into the house of Israel. The Bible says, Go get yeah, thee to the house of Israel. That's right. That's right. Read it again. Ezekiel chapter three. Verse 4. Come on. And he said unto me, Son of man, uh -huh. go get thee unto the house of Israel. Now go get thee to everybody. Unto the house of Israel. We only here for the house of Israel. Yes, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and you Native Americans. Skip down to verse 11, bro. Verse 11. Read. And go get thee to them of the captivity. We are here to the people of the captivity. Yes, Slavery man. is captivity. We are here to those people. Bring you want to know why you, you want to know why Jim Crow destroyed you? You want to know why those those dogs were sick on you in the civil rights movement? Bring it Bring it up. Up. You want to know why that happened? It's because you breaking the laws of the most high God. Read. Yeah. Yeah. Unto the children of thy people. And to who? The children of their people. We're here to the children of our people. That's right. We're not here to the so-called Indian man. We're not here to the so-called white man. We're not here to the so-called black, I mean the so-called Chinese man. We are here to the so-called blacks because you're not black. You're from the nation of Judah. That's you're from right. the nation of Israel. You are Israelites. That's how you got here. How did, how did y'all get here? Hey, bro, how, how y'all doing? How did y'all get here to America? On ship, you know that's in the Bible. You know that's in the Bible. So you know what? You know why? Did, why did y'all get on them ships to come over here and slave? You, you got a choice. And let me tell you what the choice is. You come over here. I'm gonna show you what your choice is. I'm gonna tell you what the Most High told you. Bring Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 15. Bring it out. Come on over here. We're gonna show you what this Bible say. Um, you got a choice, bro. Hey, do that. You, hey, you want to listen? Come on here. I'm going to show you what it say. Do that. Six, eight, bro. Listen to this. Give me six, eight. Give me six. Look at what, listen to what God told you going to happen to you if you didn't keep his command. Don't leave. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Bring it out. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. And who going to bring him into Egypt? And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. What was the what were God chosen people doing in Egypt at first? They were slaves in Egypt. So Egypt means something. Egypt means slavery. The most I said, I'm gonna bring you back into Egypt again. Read on. With ship. With what? With ship. The most I said he gonna that's why y'all came over here. You went into slavery on cargo slave ship. Yeah, because you breaking the God laws. Read on, bruh. Body way, where are I spake unto thee? Just like Moses told our people it's gonna happen, that's how it happened to us. Read. Thou shalt see it no more again. And you ain't gonna see your homeland no more again. Bring it out. That's it's right. there. And where? It's there. When you got off those ships, black man, read. Ye shall be sold. You should be what? Ye shall be sold. You were sold right here in West Memphis. Read. Unto your enemy. Until your friend. Unto your enemy. Until your neighbor. Unto your enemy. According to the Bible, you were sold unto your enemy. That's right. For bond men. For slave men. And bond women. And slave women. That's How y'all doing right. today, sister? How are you? you? You know what we out here to teach? We out here to teach that the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the children of God. Right. That's right. They are the Israelites that the Bible speaks of. Bring it up. God has a chosen people, and he requires some of his chosen people. Did Bring you know that? Yes. Let me show you something. Give me Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Bring it out. I'm going to show you what the Most High requires of his chosen people. You know God had a chosen people, right? Yes. Okay, all praise him. All praise him. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. Read. 
And now, Israel, uh -huh. what do the Lord thy God require of thee? So the Bible is real clear right here. The Most High said, look, I require something of you. Read. But to fear the Lord uh -huh. thy God, Read. to walk in all his ways. You both to walk in all God's ways. That's Read. right. Look it up. And to love him. And to what? And to love him. You both to love God. Now he's going to tell you how to do it. Read. And to serve the, the Lord thy God. You both to serve God. Read. With all thy heart uh -huh. and with all thy soul. Read. To keep his commandments. To do what? To keep his commandments. That's so right. the will of God is that you keep his commandments. He wants you to keep his commandments. Now let me show you this. Why, why, did, why, did, why did all of this happen to our people? Why did we go into slavery? Why did Jim Crow and all that happen to our people? Give me Deuteronomy 28. Bring it up. Deuteronomy 28 and 15. Listen to this, bruh. I like what you're saying. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. No. But it shall come to pass. The Most High said, look, it's going to come to pass. This is Moses speaking to the children of Israel. Bring it up. He's not speaking to all nations. He's only speaking to one nation of people, the nation of Israel. Read. But it shall come to pass Read. if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So if you don't listen to the Lord our God, Read. to observe, uh -huh. to do all his commandments. To do what? To observe, to do all his commandments. So if we don't do his commandments, Read. No. In his statutes, uh -huh. which I command thee this day, come on. that all these curses. All these what? All these curses. So God said, look, if you don't do my commandments, all of these curses, read, shall come upon thee uh -huh. and overtake thee. Read. Bring it up. Yeah. Verse 16. Read. Cursed shall there be in the city. So God said, look, if you don't keep my commandments, you're going to be cursed in all the cities. So when you go to any city in America and across the world, who, who's in the worst parts of the city? We are. Who in the worst part of the city? You, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and the Boy, they put the Native Americans on reservation. That's right. They put that. That's curse. That's a curse right there. They put the, they put them on reservation. That's right. Give me thirty-two. Skip down thirty-two. Read. First thirty-two. Uh -huh. Their sons and their daughters shall be given unto another people. Their sons and daughters should be given to another people. Who did that happen to? They happened to the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and you Native Americans. That's right. They, in slavery, when did that happen? Y'all ever seen the movie 12 Years a Slave? When the lady kids got took, they got sold? Read on. And thy eyes shall look and fail with lonely for them all the day long. And, and, and your eyes gonna look. When they take your kids, when they sell your, when they sold our kids, our eyes just look and long. Lonely. We were sad. Read. And there shall be no might destroyed. Until you be destroyed, because we've been destroyed as a nation of people. Our minds, our, our minds, give me the give me the picture. Give me the picture of the so-called uh Christ. Oh, is it up under there? Bring it out, huh? Bring it out. This is what your this is what your oppressor right here told you this was Christ. He told you this was Christ right here. In slavery. They gave you this image right here. Read on, bro. Because thou hearkest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Because we didn't hearken to God, read. To keep his commandments. To do what? To keep his commandments. So we didn't keep his commandments, read. In his statue. In his statue, read. Uh -oh. Which he commanded thee. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. For a wonder. So the most I said these curses gonna be upon you for a sign and for a wonder. Let me ask you something, sister. What does a sign do? What does a when somebody put up a sign, they want they want you to know what? It tells you something. It tells you something. So according That's to the right. Bible, these curses are upon the, the children of Israel. That's right. That's how we know who everybody is. That's right. I'm kind of confused. Can I ask Come on with your question, brother. Uh, if God blesses us with the mind thought process, the ability to think, okay. our surroundings, symbols of knowledge, yeah. we put our hopes, aspirations, and dreams into reality, biologically, okay. our question and mathematically. Okay. Therefore, putting our world together. Okay. We have today. And we inspired, the Bible was inspired by uh, the prophets, right? To write. So the Most High God inspired the prophet to write yeah, the Bible, okay. Inspired them to write history or whatever. 
like that. Okay. In the book. All right. Uh, I just wanted to say, uh, if God was a motion, life, motion, and light, that puts life, motion, light to the heavens on earth, and we know we He inspired us to write the history of our, and we wrote the history of our. Own okay, all right, all right. On our hearts. Okay, what's your question, bro? I'm, I'm confused. What's your question, though? Uh, my question is, uh, the point is, if He did all that, uh huh, you're saying. Like I said, put light, motion, and light here on Earth. Okay, I, 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 he was the tool. He was the tool that he used and inspired us to write what we wrote in our books in history. And we wrote the Bible. Okay. Under uh -huh. history. What, what is the question, bro? I'm confused. Huh? You're just going over and over again. What is the question? The question is, uh -huh. uh, why come symbols of knowledge are the main things that we speak off of minds and hearts and souls or whatever like that that we express that God put on our mind, heart and soul. And uh what in in, in that position, why come we have to look at uh our history of I, I, bruh, bruh, I'm, I'm I'm trying to deal with you but I don't know I don't know what your question is. So you saying we 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 too smart? Uh, I guess so. Okay. I mean, if God put it, if God blessed us with the mind thought process, it's really pulled from our surroundings, symbols of knowledge, and put symbols of knowledge into this world and put our hopes, aspirations, my dad, my dad. And what we have into this world, and put biologically, agriculturally, and mathematically. But what is your question? I, I understand what you're saying. Listen to the Bible, bro. Read that. Hey, read this for me real quick. Let me see it. Let me see it. Show you what he bring it. What uh, we bring it out. Sirach chapter 14, 15 verse 14. I'm going to show you what's going on. Yeah, the most high. The only way you're going to get wisdom, you got two types of wisdom. You got man's wisdom and you got God's wisdom. God's wisdom is seen from high. Man's wisdom is what we do on earth. Our women all on YouTube twerking and shaking their booty. You think that's God's wisdom? No, it ain't God's will. But a woman adorning themselves in mind is a pearl. Where you think that is sin from? That is sin from high. Now listen to this. Read what you got. The book of Sirach, chapter 15, verse 14. He himself made a man from the beginning. So God made man from the beginning, read. And left him in the hand of his counsel. So God gave you free will. He like, look, hey, left you in the hand of your counsel, read. If thou wilt, if you will to do what? To keep the commandments. You got to make a choice. If you're going to keep God's commandments or you're going to die, read. That's right. And to perform acceptable uh, faithfulness. Read. He hath set fire and water before thee. The most I said trials and tribulations before us, read. Stretch forth thy hand unto whither thou wilt. Stretch forth your hand and we'll do what you're going to, if you're going to keep God's commandments or not. What you're going to do is you're going to keep his commandments or you're going to keep despising his commandments, read. Before man is life and death, and whether he like it shall be given him. So you only got life or death. Life is to keep God's commandments. Hold that real quick. Give me Proverbs 72. What we out here to do today, we out here to show our people who they are according to the Bible. That we are the Israelites. We are God's chosen people. And we went into slavery for breaking his commandments. And this ain't Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ looked like you according to the Bible. Jesus Christ looked like you according to the Bible. Jesus Christ looked like me according to the Bible. Read what you got. The book of Proverbs, chapter 7, verse 2. Keep my commandments and live. He said, keep my commandments and live. Choose life and keep God's commandments, read. And my law as the apple of thine eye. He said, his law is supposed to be the apple of thine eye. In the church, they teach you that God's law is done away with. That's why we got fornication in our community. That's why we got drugs in our community. That we selling drugs in the white man community. That's why we destroy our own communities. That's why black men killing each other. Black on black crime high. That's why we game banking in our community. When God's laws tell us in Exodus 23 and 2, get that real quick. Games yeah. cause division. Why the hell are we killing each other? A black A. Hey, Games ain't nothing but a damn black KKK. Let me repeat. Because the KKK did what killed black men. So you got these different gangs. You got GDs. You got Vice Lords. You got Crips. You got Bloods. And who the hell y'all killing? You ain't killing nobody but your own damn people. Get up. Get up. Just like the KKK did. Read what you got. The book of Exodus, chapter 23, verse 2. So God gave you a choice. If you're going to choose life or death, read. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. God said don't follow no multitude to do evil. That's talking about game banging. If you won't keep his commandments or not.
multitudes life or death. If you don't follow the multitude to do evil, guess what? No harm gonna happen to you. But if you wanna roll with these gangs, uh, roll be in gangs, do drive-bys, when uh, evil happen to you, then guess what? That's because you chose death. And you didn't do what the Most High wanted you to do, Reed. Really. Neither shall thy speak in a cause to decline after many to rest judgment. Go back to Sirach, uh 14, 15. And pick up what we left off. So God made you a choice. Yeah, he gave us wisdom. He gave us wisdom. But you got two types of wisdom. You got this wisdom that's here on earth. And you got the wisdom that is seen from above. Yeah, and the right. wisdom that we coming with is the wisdom that's on high. Yeah, and I'm going right. to right. prove it to you. Read on. Sirach chapter 15, verse 18. Yeah. For the wisdom of the Lord is great. The wisdom of the Lord is great, read. And he is mighty in power. It is mighty in power, read. And behold of all things. And behold in all things, read on. And his eyes are upon them that fear him. The most high eyes are upon them who fear him, read. And he knoweth every work of man. The most high know every work of man. He know if you go, he know if you are, uh, he know if you try to see it and hide it. Read. He had commanded no man to do wickedly. God ain't commanded nobody to do wickedly. God ain't commanded none of you to do wickedly, read. Neither hath he given any man license to sin. And the most high didn't give you a license to sin. Give me That's James right. chapter uh, 5. Bring it up. I mean Bring James chapter 3 verse 14. This wisdom comes from a uh, high. Time for people to wake up, repent, and keep the commandments of God. You are the Israelites, the Bible speaks of. That's right. And war coming and you ain't even prepared for war. A lot of y'all gonna die right here in your sin. Bring it out, huh? For real though. A lot of y'all gonna die right here in your sin. Why? Because you won't repent. That's for right. real. Read what you got. The book of James, chapter 3, verse 14. But if ye have bitter envy and strife. He said, but if you have bitter envy and strife, and you see that in our communities all the time, we hate one another. Talk about some damn black lives, man. Black lives don't matter to y'all. You kill each other. Right. Then the white man shoots you down. Oh, so no justice, no peace. Your ass didn't get no justice, no peace in the sickness, and you ain't getting no justice, no peace right now. The white man gonna keep killing y'all. You won't know why the white man gonna keep killing y'all. You won't know why the white man gonna keep shooting you down because you hate each other. Because you shoot each other down. That's why he gonna keep doing it to you. Read what you got. The book of James, chapter 3, verse 14. But if ye, but if ye have bitter envy and strife in your heart. Well, if you got bitter envy and strife in your heart, read. Glory not. Glory not, because we glorify the hood. We glorify bitter envy, strife, hate, murder, gang, drugs, read. And lie not against the truth. Read. This wisdom descended not from above. It said this wisdom descended not from above. This is the wisdom that we learned on earth, read. But it's earthly, central. Devilish. It's devilish. So there's two types of wisdom. So you gotta ask yourself, what wisdom is you coming with? What knowledge and understanding you coming with? Because it says it's building and being strengthened for you, this is devilish. This earthly wisdom, but read on. Verse 16. For where envy and strife is, and you, we see that in our communities, for where envy and strife is, read, there is confusion. And every evil work. That's why you got our people talking about Dr. Malachi York. That's why you got our people talking about Elijah Muhammad. That's why you got our people talking about Malcolm X. That's why you got our people talking about Martin Luther King. Why? Because it say what? Read that again, verse 16. For where envy and strife is, there is confusion. What sin is, is confusion. Now yeah. people confuse. You don't even know who you are. You don't even know who you are. You don't even know where you come from. Hey, Black, what's your name? What is your name? Who are your forefathers? What family on earth do you belong to? I need a black man or a black woman right now to tell me what family on earth you belong to. Tell me who are your forefathers? Who do you know? Tell me what the white man taught you. Don't come up here and say I'm an African American. Don't come up here and say I'm black when you really brown. Bring it up. Read up. Verse 17. But the wisdom that is from above. Say, but the wisdom that is from above. So it let you know you got earthly wisdom and you got heavenly wisdom. So you got to know what type of wisdom that we coming with now. And we coming from the wisdom that's from above. It's like what? It's first pure. It's first pure, read. Then peaceable. Then peaceable. They teach you to be at peace with one another. That's we keep right. God's laws. It teaches us how to love one another. The black man don't know how to love the black woman, and the black woman don't know how to love the black man. The black woman don't know how to love her kids, and the kids don't know how to love their parents. Why? Because they ain't learning this wisdom right here. 
Yeah, you know? Nobody ain't teaching them to. We don't got no mercy on the men. And, and since we don't have mercy, no mercy on one another, we have no mercy on our kids. Our kids growing up fatherless. Our kids growing up motherless. Our women's growing our women's raising up their kids, widows. Tell our people to wake up. We tired of this. When the hell y'all gonna get tired of living the way we live? Up, when you gonna get tired of breaking God's laws, statutes, and commandments? We don't go get tired of getting shot down in the streets by these damn white devils around here. Bring it out. Bring it out. See what you got? Without penalty. Full of mercy and good works. Without penalty and without hypocrisy. And the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace. Of them, they make peace. That's how you know who keeping the commandments. Bring it out. Because the people who keep the commandments, they make peace. That's so you got right. two types of wills. You got the wisdom that's seen from above, and you got the wisdom that's right here created on earth, which is devil, earthly, and sensual. We come up with God's wisdom. And only God's wisdom come. Uh, the most high. Give me, give me the uh, Psalm 16 and 11 real quick. Psalm 16 and 11. So God made you, and he gave you a choice. Yeah, he gave you a choice. Look, you, you know, you, look I'm going to let you know something. The wind obey God. The fire obey, everything obey God. Everything is ordered off of law. Matter of fact, I'm going to prove that to read this real quick. The book of Psalms 68, verse 11. The Lord gave the word. Great was the company of those that published. God gave the word. Great was the company of those that published. Malachi was great. Zechariah was great. Bring it up. Uh, uh, Habakkuk was great. Now, who was great? Moses was great, but God gave the word. Give me the police right. after chapter 38. I'm going to show you something. Every, God controls everything. God controls the wind. Everything operates off of, uh, off of law. If the most I tell the wind, the, uh, the, the wind is going its course, the wind going to stay in their course and ain't going to move. Only we don't want to obey God's command. That's right. Only we don't want to obey God's command. Yeah. The wind know to obey God. Give me a Sirach, uh 38. Matter of fact, hold on. Let me see this. Let me switch over real quick. Start right here. Uh, chapter 28. I'm going to show you something. Uh, Sirach 40, 39, verse 28. Listen to it. The book of Sirach, chapter 39, verse 28. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him. So it's like God got spirits that he created just for vengeance. Everything that obey God. The most high creates the good and the evil. He got spirits created just for vengeance. Read. Fire and hell. It say fire and hell, read. And famine and death. Fire, hell, famine, and death are all spirits. Read. All these were created for vengeance. Y'all say I created them for vengeance. But check this out, read. Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents, and the sword. Punishing the wicked to do destruction. God created the teeth of wild beasts, scorpions, and serpents. He created all that for men. Just read. They shall rejoice in his commandments. Did it say they're going to disobey his commandments? They're going to do what? They shall rejoice in his commandments. So if you see somebody get mauled by a dog, guess what? The most high game got that dog commandment to do that. That's, That's right. right. You see uh, the white man want to play with a lion? And next thing you know, that lion destroy, uh, eat him up on stage. That's because God gave him commandment to do that. Right, and it right. said, say, is that going to break his commandment? What they going to do? They shall rejoice in his commandment. So when a storm come through, that God, that storm going to do what it's going to do. It's a spirit in that storm. So if a tornado touch down, it's going to do what God told him to do. That's God control right. everything. Read. And they shall be ready upon earth. We need this. And when their time is come, they shall not transgress his word. You hear that? They ain't going to transgress his word. When the time comes, you got animals that won't even transgress the word of the most high. If God say, hey, look, go bite, it's going to bite. If God tell the wind, hey, I want you to go through and destroy these, these whole damn projects, they're going to destroy it and they ain't going to be like, no, what about the people in there? Right. What about the people up in there? No, they're going to come, it's gonna, they're going to rejoice at his commandments. And they gonna, read that again, say, what they going to do? Verse 31. They shall rejoice in his commandment. Right, jump back down to 30, uh, uh, 33. Verse 33. All the works of the Lord are good. And we and he. Yeah, I made 31. 31. Verse 31. They shall rejoice in his commandment. And they shall be ready upon earth. We need this. 
And when their time is come, and when their time come to get their ordinary, they shall not transgress his word. They will no. not transgress his word. So you got a choice. Either you're going to keep God's commandments or not. God ain't commanding none of us to do weekly. That wisdom come from man when they say, God lost done away with. You got a choice. First of all, you told you don't got no choice. You agree? Give me Exodus chapter 19. Hey, yeah. over here, Peter, now. Yeah, yeah, give me one minute. Come on, you come on right here, because I'm gonna switch it out. Give me Exodus chapter 19 real quick. You don't got no choice. You made an agreement. If you made, I'm gonna ask you something. If you made an agreement with somebody, do you think is that a choice? If you made an agreement, you gotta do what? Keep your end of the agreement, right? If you sign a contract with somebody, you gotta fulfill your contract. God signed a contract with us. He made an agreement. He said, look, I'm a vouch to be your God this day, and you a vouch to be my people. He said, but guess what? You gotta keep my commandments. If you keep my commandments, I'm gonna set you high above all people on earth. That's but if right. you break my commandments, I'm gonna destroy you. I'm gonna bring you low. You gonna go into slavery with ships. Your sons and daughters gonna be given to another people. Your name's gonna be changed. You gotta have to go to your enemies for food, water, and clothes, a house, a job, a paycheck, and one of all things. And that same enemy gonna put a yoke of iron upon your neck. Read what you got. The book of Exodus, chapter 19, verse 7. And Moses came and called for the elders of the people and laid before their faces all these words which the Lord commanded him. So here go Moses. He called the elders of the people and he laid for them all these words. Read. And all the people answered together and said, All that the Lord has spoken. All that the Lord has spoken. What? We will do. We will do. We said we're going to do God's commandments. It said, read that again. All that the boy, hey, it said what? And all, the, and all the people answered together and said, all that the Lord has spoken, we will do. All that the Lord has spoken, we will do. Give me do that on 26 real quick. Hey, I'm confused on something. Can, can I ask you something? Yeah, what's up? Uh, yo, God. Now, is you going to ask the question or are you going to come over there? No, nah, I'm just trying to figure okay. something out because I'm confused with what you saying about God's light that was in the Bible that gave Moses the Ten Commandments. Yeah, you want to know what the gave, light is. He gave uh, Moses the Ten Commandments and Moses had been saw that in the beginning and was inspired to write the in the beginning and was writing the history of the word like the prophets was writing the history of the word. Yeah. Then how, how, how did Moses' descendants then find God's light on earth and warn Jesus or whatever like that? about, you know what I'm saying, his father being on earth and, you know what I'm saying, where he was located there if he didn't want to stay here as light. God's life, motion, and light that we put in the Hold on, what is, what is your question again? You got to slow down. You talk kind of fast. You saying something about... I said, uh, if Moses, right? Okay. Was given the Ten Commandments. Yeah. He was given more by, than Ten Commandments. By, by light, you know what I'm saying, that was in the mountains. God's light. He, got, he was given by God. Yeah, he was carved in by light, right? No, he, he uh, said God, by God. The burning bush. The burning bush. Hey, go do that real quick. So if it was the burning bush or whatever like that, and uh, Moses wrote in the beginning and everything like that, and wrote Adam and Eve and who forgot who, and he wrote the books of the Bible. You know what I'm saying? And the prophet wrote the books of the Bible. What is the true history when they when they look up from their descendants and they can't find God's light, God's light motion and light here on earth? You know what I'm saying? And they put it down as history itself. And that was in the book itself, you know what I'm saying, recording the history that God gave them. Yet he wrote the book himself that God inspired him to write. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know what I'm saying? Like the Genesis book. Alright, uh, give me second answer 14. Now check this out. Give me second answer 14. Check this out real quick. Now you you asked the long question. It's a long question. Good question though. Second answer 14. Uh let me see. Let's start at first one. Check this out. Listen to this. Now, we're going to have to jump around a little bit because I ain't going to read all this, but check this out, right? The book of Second Andrews, chapter 14, verse 1. Now look, this is what you were talking about. In the beginning, right, the Most High gave Moses the word to give to the Israelites. It was given to Moses by who? The Most High God. Look, check this out, read. And it came to pass upon the third day, I sat under an oak, and behold, there came a voice out of a bush over against me, and he said, Andrews, Andrews. And I answered him, here I am, Lord. And I stood upon my feet. So this is Andrew. He said, look, on the third day, an uh, angel came to him. And he said, look, here I am, Lord. Read. Then said he unto me. So here go Christ. He said, here go Christ saying to Andrew. Read. In the bush, 
I did manifest, reveal myself unto Moses. In the bush, in the burning bush, right? He said, I manifest and revealed myself to Moses, right? And talked with him, with my people, we my people served in Egypt. He said, and I spoke with him when my people served in the land of Egypt, right? And I sent him and led my people out of Egypt. And I sent Moses to lead my people out of Egypt, right? And brought him up to the Mount of Sinai. And brought him up to Mount Sinai, right? Right? Where I held him by me a long season. Where well, he held him by him a long season, read. Right? Forty days and forty nights, read. Right? And told him many wondrous things. He told him many wondrous things, read. Right? And showed him the secrets of the time. He showed him the secrets of the time, read. Right? At the end, he showed him the end of times, read. Right? And commanded him, saying, "These words shalt thou declare, and these shalt thou hide." These words shall thou declare, these words shall thou hide. Now look, jump down to verse uh, 21. So now, now get to verse 22. Read. Verse 22. Now look, here go answer. Because what had happened during the purge of captivity, I think this is Persian the Greek. Now during the purge of captivity, uh, the law, the Bible had got burnt, right? They was burning our Bibles. So you ask how did, can the people of God today be able to still go into the Bible and find the light, right? That was given from the, the Most High to Moses, right? Uh, was, That's what you were saying, uh, right? I was asking if, if God put light, motion, and light here on earth, which He did. You he keep saying the, motion. What what is the motion life, that you talk about? And light. You, know you said light, motion, and light. The light in us. You know what I'm saying? That we view out of our body and we echo sounds or whatever like that. You know what I'm saying? The life, motion, and Look, light. Look, what is your, what is heaven. what is your question, man? My question is this. If God bless us with the mind thought process. I build. just went over there. Okay. I just went over there right there. What wisdom is you, if he bless us with the mind thought process, right? I told you that it's wisdom that ascends from earth and it's wisdom that ascends from above. What wisdom is you coming with right now? What wisdom I'm coming with right yeah. now? Yeah, is you coming I'm, with I'm earthly wisdom or the wisdom from I'm above? I'm to come with faith. Do you in believe the in the Bible? I yes or no? I have faith. In order to have faith, you got to keep his commandments. Right. In order to have faith, you got to believe in the word. Right. The scriptures say that. The scriptures say faith come by hearing the word of God. Right now, you can get faith if you sit up here and pay attention and quit talking about life, motion, and light. The light is the law. That's right. The light is the law. You was created and formed to serve God. That's why he put you on this earth to serve him. So, I just like I read to you earlier today, you got to make a choice whether you're going to serve God and keep his commandments or you're going to keep coming with this earthly wish, uh, will stuff that is damaged. God life in all of us, right? Read what you got. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 3, verse 4. This is what the most I put it on our heart to do and the message to give. Read. And he said unto me, son of man, go get thee unto the house of Israel. He said, get thee unto the house of Israel, read, and speak with my words unto them. He said, speak with his words. So if you're saying God put, uh, if God put the spirit on you to give us a message, you're supposed to be speaking with who words? Speak my words unto them. God said, speak my words unto him. That's what we coming out here to do. We ain't coming out here speaking our words. We ain't coming out here with our own vain thoughts. Why? Give me Jeremiah 17 and 9. Yeah. Read what you got. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, verse 9. The heart is deceitful above all things. God said the heart is deceitful above all things. You, you coming with this seat. The heart is deceitful because you think God sent you to give us a message. When you, if God give you, if God set up here and set you for to give a message, you should be out here right now on this corner that's teaching right. the people that's walking that's back and forth right. who they are and why they're in the conditions they're in. So you didn't come out here to give us a message. We came out here to give you a message for that's God. Right. And he said, look, read that again. Say what? The heart is deceitful above all things. It desperately wicked. Who can know it? Who can know it? Now give me Mark chapter 1. Let me show you the message that God gave us to give. He said, speak with my words unto him. That's so if you was coming in the name of God, you would have came with his word. That's not right. with your own understanding. Yeah. The scriptures tell us, lean not towards our own understanding. Uh, right. Give me Matthew, uh, Mark chapter 1. Lean not to your own understanding. Read what you got. Mark 1. Uh, matter of fact, no, Matthew 5. Matthew 5 verse 1. Check this out. I'll show you something. Show you how how uh how you spoke, how we coming out here, what we coming with, according to scripture. That's why I keep going to the Bible. 
We ain't like the approach of eating pastors. That's what a pastor do. Or come up and talk to you and say, yeah, God sent me to you. And God this and God that. But then come with the word. God, God's spirit is in his word right That's here. Right. That's right. Matthew 4 and 17. Here we go. Hey, here you go. Uh, I'm going to finish that up in 2nd Andrew 2 just in case. Read. The book of Matthew chapter 4 verse 17. From the time... Uh, from the time that Jesus became to preach and to say repent from the kingdom of heaven is at hand. This is the spirit that we're coming in. This is the word that we're coming in. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Repent or die. You can make up a choice. Second Andrew 24, 14, 22. Wrap it up real quick. On there right there. Because I still want to finish that off. Because I went to make a point. How is our people going to get the light that was given to Moses? How is our people still getting it today? And I'm going to show you right now. Second Andrew 14 and 22. Read what you got. The book of Second Andrew, chapter 14, verse 22. Now listen to what Andrew said. But if I have found grace before thee. If I have found grace before you, God, read. Send the Holy Ghost into me. He said, send the Holy Ghost into me, read. And thou shalt write all that have been done in the world since the beginning, which were written in, the, in thy law, that man may find thy path. That man may do what? Find thy path. Read. Yeah. And that they which you live in the latter days may live. That they in the latter days may live. So the Most High set up there and set forth to put his Holy Spirit on every to make sure that his word is to continue to go forth so our people can learn everything that was done from the beginning. Shalom, Israel. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, Please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.